Hi, I'm Terrafly, a cat artist specializing in portraits of cats wearing period costumes. Today I'd like to share my process for making bookmarks featuring my art. Each bookmark begins as an original painting of mine that I've scanned into the computer and then cropped the image to measure 2 inches by 5 inches. Here I've covered an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with my bookmarks and then I'll print this page onto Epson's Ultra Premium Presentation Paper. It's a matte photo paper that comes highly rated and is my personal choice for greeting cards and other printed materials. And here are sheets of bookmarks that I've printed. I'm cutting the bookmarks into smaller segments. For the back of each bookmark, I use decorative cardstock that's found in the scrapbooking aisle of your local craft store. I use Mod Podge glue to adhere my printed bookmarks to the decorative paper backing. There's my cat Dominic. Of course, my cat needs to inspect my work and shed his fur all over everything. He wants to use his tail to help spread the glue. You know, because these are cat bookmarks. I'm cutting them out again. I place heavy books on top of them to flatten them out while the glue dries. Next, I cut out each individual bookmark by hand. I could probably use a paper trimmer, but it's one of those things that I'm pretty particular about. Whenever I use a cutting machine, I wind up trimming the edges by hand afterwards anyway, so now I just cut them out myself. This is something that I can do while I'm watching television. I use the Scotch brand lamination machine and 11 by 14 inch thermal laminating sheets. I can fit eight bookmarks on a sheet. I'm feeding them through the machine. The machine does auto feed, but sometimes it goes off track and starts crunching up the plastic, so I usually just hold it steady.
Can I feed mine through twice? I probably don't need to do that, but I like knowing that they're completely sealed. And then I cut them out again. There is a lot of cutting involved. So here's a stack of my finished bookmarks. I have about 200 bookmarks here, and each one of them was created the exact same way. Cutting, gluing, cutting, laminating, and cutting some more. I'm currently working on a portrait series of King Henry VIII's wives, and this is a painting that I'm working on of Catherine Howard, his fifth wife. She's a Siamese. His first four wives are already finished, and you can see here I'm going to make bookmarks of his third wife, Jane Seymour. She's the cream-colored cat, and his fourth wife, Anne of Cleves, who is the tortoise shell. My paintings and prints, greeting cards and bookmarks can all be purchased online through my Etsy shop. I'm still working on listing and photographing everything that I've made, so if you're looking for my art on a specific bookmark and it's not in my shop, you can just ask me and I can list it. You can find me at the Carroll County Farmers Market in Westminster every Saturday during the summer and fall. All of my bookmarks will be there along with keychains, magnets, wooden plaques, and of course my paintings. If you're in the area, come check us out. And thanks for watching.